What's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. So Pete Hines has announced that he is retiring from Bethesda. So I'm going to read Bethesda's Twitter post and then I'll read Pete Hines' personal post. Um, Bethesda said uh, Pete Hines, SVP, head of publishing for Bethesda Softworks, has announced his decision to retire. Pete's public presence uh, was only a small part of his role at Bethesda, although uh, the way he represented us carried over into the values he nurtured here authenticity, integrity, and passion. His contributions have been inter inter integral uh, in building Bethesda and its family of studios into the world-class organization that it is today. His vision helped push us forward and his hard work inspired us. We're thankful, thankful for 24 years of leadership and wish him the very best in his next chapter. They said they'll miss him. Pete said, after 24 years, I have decided my time at Bethesda Softworks has come to an end. I am retiring and will be uh, beginning a, a new um, exciting chapter of life, exploring interests and passions, donating my time where I can, and taking more time to enjoy life. This was not a decision I came to easily or quickly, but after an, an amazing career culminating in the incredible launch of Starfield, it feels like the time is right. This is certainly not goodbye by any means. My love for Bethesda and its people has never wavered, and I will never stop being part of this incredible community that we have grown. Thank you to the hundreds of fans, yada, 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 over the last 24 years. Your energy, creativity has been a big part of the journey. Working with amazing people, teams, studios at Bethesda has been the greatest experience of my life. I'm incredibly proud of everything we've done together. Genuine, uh, genuinely excited to see uh, of the things, amazing things that may come and you create next, all that stuff. I wanted to read that whole thing um, because the internet is weird, right? Only on the internet, especially in the gaming space, is somebody working at working somewhere at especially one company for two, three decades is a red flag. Like, and, and I think that like speaks volumes to like one, how idiotic people are, two, how short sighted people are, and a lot of it is just fanboy wars and fanboy fodder trying to use stuff as ammo. Because you know how insane it, it is to think that somebody who's worked somewhere longer than some of us have been alive and, and then they decided, hey, I want to retire and actually enjoy, you know, the fruits of my labor. I want to enjoy life and do the things that I want to do, you know, unencumbered from work. I want to go, you know, go explore the world. And I'm sure he's gotten, you know, the chance to do that while he's working, but with no burden, right? He can just relax. He can go to an island. He can actually enjoy the money and the wealth that he's earned through 30 to 24 years. And the internet, you know, has this, and it's not only like fans of like, you know, the opposite on the opposite side, trying to cons create conspiracy theories. It's actual fans of like Bethesda and Xbox thinking, oh man, I think, you know, I, I think he wasn't happy anymore at, at Bethesda. I think, bro, the man worked there. Do, do people not understand that the goal in life is to retire? The goal is not to work forever. Bro, like I'm 33 and I already be thinking about retirement. Not that I'm anywhere near being able to retire. I be thinking about retirement as in, I cannot wait to be able to retire. That is the goal. The goal should not be to work forever. The goal is to work now that in the latter part of your life, you can do what you want. You spend, you spend the majority of your life. I don't know if people think about it this way. You spend the majority of your life doing what someone else tells you to do to survive. So retirement where nobody else can, can boss you around, even if you enjoy what you do in life, still you are doing what is necessary that somebody, el somebody else tells you and somebody else gives you responsibilities to survive. So if you that, that should be a goal for everybody to get to the point where, bro, if you want to sit around on your ass and do absolutely nothing, because you can do that. You don't have to worry about anything financially. You are com just completely stable. That is the goal. So I don't understand like the weirdos on the internet who are short-sighted probably don't really have nothing going on 
looking at retirement as some type of flag. Y'all are weird. And y'all probably don't really have, and I, I understand some of it are some of it is jokes and some of it is fanboy stuff, but some of the, some people really believe this stuff. And it goes back to like it, it still connects to bro, people retire all the time. People should be retiring all the time. Even if I believe, even if you don't necessarily want to retire or you're not ready to retire yet and you're at the height. Just because you've gotten up there in age, I think you should retire because now the people below you can move up the ranks with fresh ideas and a different outlook that you may have, may have, have not had. Even if you are amazing at your job, Pete Hines, I'm sure he's amazing. he was amazing at his job. I mean, the track record speaks, speaks for itself. It doesn't, I don't, I, it's my personal belief that even if you are the best, you still need to leave if you're at the top to let somebody else who may not necessarily be the best, but have different ideas and they can work up to be their best. They can introduce different ideas or different viewpoints. You need a refresh at, at the company. So the point is, like I said, with, with Jim Ryan, the fact that some people think that Jim Ryan was pushed out. And by the way, you know, I didn't see any pushed out. Uh, I didn't see any pushed out accusations with Pete Hines, even though he's like, eight, I think, eight years younger than Jim Ryan and has worked um, for his respective company six years less than Jim Ryan. And, and both of them were immensely successful at what they did. And at the time that they left, I didn't see that, right? Because logical minds know that both these gentlemen just decided to retire for their own reasons for to benefit their own life and to relax and, and to enjoy life it's only the irrational emotional people who want to you know use this stuff as fanboy nonsense think that either of these gentlemen were pushed out none of it makes sense if you actually believe that you're an idiot i'm i'm just i'm just being frank if you believe either one of these gentlemen were pushed out or were forced out or were, were given the grace to, to leave because, you know, some companies do that or, or were quietly fired. You're a moron. You're a moron, respectfully. You know, you're an idiot. We know the context and there's always clues and there's always, uh, you know, some, some, some context that tells us when somebody was pushed out, out of their role, out of their position. We know what that looks like. We know the environment that that, that that looks like. And that wasn't the situation with either one of these people. So, yeah, the point is, bro, retirement should be the goal. That's what people should want to do. When in, especially people like them, you know, in their 50s and 60s, been in one place for so long. This is completely normal. This is normal stuff. Ed, I'm going to be real with you. I think, I think like retirement and reaching that is, is so like distant in some people's mind that they, they, they think that like an accomplishment, because retirement is an accomplishment and is an achievement. It's so like out of people's reach that they think it's some type of red flag. And once again, that says more, more about society and I guess our community than it does about the individuals who are retiring. So that's, that's my thought on all this. Um, congratulations to Pete Hines. Let me know what y'all think about all this. Uh, he joined um, Bethesda in 1999. I was nine years old, uh, where he was senior vice president. Um, yeah, he joined in 1999, where he was senior vice president of global marketing and communications uh, for 23 years before getting promoted to uh, head of global publishing just last October. So yeah, long career, bro. Long career. So congrats um, on his retirement. Just wanted to add some, I guess, logic and sense to this. But yeah, I'm out of here. So next time y'all see somebody in the gaming industry just retiring, sometimes that's all it is. They're just retiring. I'm out. Peace.